This time on Dog Strip, we dust off the hamster for another epic road trip. This time off to Alberta, heading through Drumheller and then down to Lethbridge for the start of the Great Beater Challenge. Over 2,000 kilometers of adventure and three days on the road. For those of you new to the channel, the hamster is a Ford Festiva we chopped and shortened over five years ago. And after it was sitting in the backyard for almost a year, we decided to check for a pulse. And now the beginning of another epic road trip. That's right, we chose the hamster and she's been sleeping for almost a year. You know, let's do 800 kilometers today. We'll fill you in as we go. And now it's off through the BC Rockies we go. For the first two days of this trip, we're on our own. Today, just getting ourselves all the way to Drumheller, Alberta, before bunking down for the night. That was a very, very long drive in the hamster. Come to Drumheller, they said. Largest dinosaur in the world. Huge! And now for the main attraction of Drumheller, the Royal Trail Museum of Dinosaur-y Thingies. It's funny, after seeing the bones to scale, we kind of thought the creatures would have been bigger, you know, based on movies. Guess not. And I believe the quote is, SHOOT HA! After the museum, we head outside for the dino site tour. The hike itself was through some beautiful terrain, but after the lecture, we are left on our own to stumble about and hunt for fossils. When done, we are told to dump the fossils on the ground for the next group to discover. All right, so with the museum tour done and us educated, time to do something more our speed. Go karts! Go karts! Go karts! Go karts! Pro tip, Gorilla Tape is great for making your own hands-free camera mount. And now for the second pro tip, tell the track worker you paid for 20 laps. That's 10 laps each. And then they mistakenly may let you race for 20 laps each. Next, we get back into our own go-kart and get back on the road. Now heading south towards Lethbridge for the night's accommodations. We found it rather shocking just how quickly the terrain shifted. Long, flat roads with not even a tree in sight. Yeah, we'll stop and urinate behind the next tree. You can hold it for that long, can't you? This was a very long and agonizing drive. On the third morning, our buddy Martin joins us in his 1985 Mercedes as we roll out to the main event. The Great Beater Challenge was supposed to be a two-day, 800-kilometer road trip with challenging tasks and riddles to complete along the way. And then COVID came along and things changed into a single-day cruise, 600 kilometers for those who wanted to come out. A wide range of automotive oddities gathered before heading off onto the vast, wide-open highways of southern Alberta. And away we go, quickly losing track of each other as traffic and fuel stops break up the group. Nevertheless, out for a scenic drive in a new land will brighten up anyone's day. A little windy! It's a lot windy! It's not often we get to see the Rockies from this side. Certainly, we can't complain. You gotta love that view. Beautiful.
Like wandering gypsies, the beaters converged while cruising north. After all, it's fun being in a convoy. Safety in numbers, all that jazz. Most importantly, the more toe straps, the better. After we stop for lunch and hang out with the group, we head out on our own. This beater challenge was a 600 kilometer loop starting and ending in Lethbridge, Alberta. At this point, we cut out and head home early. It would be another 700 kilometers through the BC Rockies before our day would be over. As for the drive home, we take Alberta Highway 40 and go through Highwood Pass. This is by far one of our favorite roads to drive. The pass itself is the highest paved pass in Canada and the views are absolutely breathtaking. Although we highly recommend a warmer car. Great weather. After 2300 kilometers, amazing weather and blistering cold, we have made it home. We are home. The Great Beater Challenge Junior was awesome. So hopefully we get to do it again and we'll see you later. Good night. <laughs> Next time on Dog Strip, we go to church. But the congregation had clearly moved on. We take Bumblebee on another back road adventure while exploring through some of BC's forgotten past. Be sure to like and subscribe so you don't miss out on the next video. You may not have noticed, but for the Great Beater Challenge, we had a theme, golf cart. Hence, the striped polo shirts and golf clubs. We didn't get much of a chance to slap around the balls in Alberta. So here we are on the home turf. Golfing is such a fun and relaxing game. Yes. <laughs>